Good evening from Expert Credit Suite. So tonight we're gonna to go through this quickly because nobody wants to sit through a long freaking video and I don't wanna shoot a long video, okay? So tonight we're talking about the validation of debt. I'm going to show you how I remove all of these 150 collections. Yes, 150 collections. As you can see, they're all alphabetized like how credit reports normally are. So it's not the same page over and over and over again. This is what this credit report looked like when this client signed up. And let's get to the bottom of it just so you can see that it's actually 20 pages. So that's what it looked like. And then this is the first round of results. There's only three remaining. Count them, one, two, three. And on the next round, there's only one. That's it, one. And yep, you guessed it, on the next round, there are none. So we're going to go through a couple of different letters, and this first one, the first VOD dispute letter, you can find online on my website for free at expertcreditsuites.com forward slash VOD, as in validation of debt. The other disputes you can actually purchase at the end of this video if you want, or you, know, you can even schedule an appointment with me for me to do your disputes for you. Um, it's $49 and immediate delivery. So let's get back to this. All right, so this is a letter you're going to send to the collection agency. This is for collections only as it's under the FDCPA, which is debt collection, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, okay? This is not the FCRA. So anyways, having said that, this is good for a medical apartment, utility, cell phone storage, dental, and then when you're looking at debt buyers, that's going to be for credit cards, loans, vehicles, et cetera. So you're basically just going to you know, put your information on here. You say that I owe this and your claim is disputed. Now, you're also going to follow this up, and it can be at the same time, because I know that's a question, it, it, there's no time period that needs to be in between, send your bureau dispute out like on day one, and send your collection dispute on day two, okay? So this is your bureau letter. I looked at my credit report, and this account is unknown. I don't owe anything with this balance or to this creditor, and it needs to be removed. Send me a credit report showing that it's been deleted. Now let's say, that they actually respond, being the creditor, um, they respond and they say, look, this has been verified. You're going to send letter 2A, and this is letter 2A, and it basically says, you know, you said that it's been verified, but you failed to provide me with a copy of any viable evidence bearing my signature, excuse me, bearing my signature showing the account is being reported accurately. Okay, so if that occurs, you're going to send letter 2A to the bureaus, okay? Maybe you didn't get the part in my last letter where I said that this account is unknown and that it needs to be removed. Just because you say that it's been verified, it doesn't change the fact that I have no clue where this came from. Delete this immediately. I need you to send something with my signature or the paperwork that was filled out if you're going to keep this on my report. All right, so now let's look at the other way. Let's say that they just don't respond at all. So you're going to send letter to B. Now, if you are a credit repair company, and you just you really don't know who sends what, who's responded because your clients don't give you any of the paperwork back because that's normally the way that it goes, then just go with letter 2B. Okay, so this is basically stating that, you know, by not replying in a timely manner, you know, that they're in violation and that this is very serious in reporting on your credit report, blah, 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 I'm gonna sue you if you didn't, you know, if you don't remove this. Um, you don't really find out until letter number three what the actual magic is behind this. So your dispute letter to the bureau, look at the top, 2B is going to say, I disputed this with the company and I sent it certified and they didn't even respond. What's crazy is, is that I'm pretty certain that a creditor needs to respond to you for you to say that it's been verified. So if they're not sending me anything, then what are they sending to you? You can't even get paid to report something that you have absolutely no proof of. Get it off my report because it's 100% unverified. All right, guys. So this is letter number three, okay? And this right here is the magic behind the whole thing, okay? So this is under Section 623 of the FCRA and 806B of the FDCPA. Upon further investigation, I have retained new copies of my credit reports and notice that you did not furnish the credit bureaus with the required disclosure within the required period by law. You are required by federal law to place a notice of dispute on my account within 30 days of my dispute, which you signed for on date you signed for the letter. That's it. That was their last chance, okay? So, most of the time they think that you're just trying to get them to send, you know, a sign this and a sign that, but no, that's not it. 
If they didn't send you the proof, they're in violation. If they don't send, if they don't put the required notice of dispute on there, they're in violation. Okay, you can. I think you can only take them to court for one of those two things. But having said that, this is your letter number three to the bureaus. Okay, so you literally had enough time to verify this account because you didn't at any time send me even one shred of evidence that this is my account or that I have the liability, responsibility, or ownership. It needs to be deleted, and then you're going to tell them what they're in violation of, but in a very you know, personable way, because remember, you're not an expert, you're a regular old Joe or Jane, and that's all that needs to come across. Okay, so your last resort is to take them to court, and you would send this letter with a copy of, you know, the complaint, as simple as that. So, if you want um, and you can always make this yourself, of course, but if you want to um, get these letters, including the ones that I've made for the bureaus, then you know I would also give this to you as an Excel spreadsheet so that you can keep track of everything so that you have a backup of your paper trail, all right? So that is basically it, guys. Um, if you want me to do this for you and you want me to take the burden off your hands, your first call is free and you can schedule on the book online page of the website. And you can also find the direct link to schedule with me down in the description. If you would like to get this series, including the blank tracking sheet and um, the bureau to piece that I made, then the link to that is also going to be in this video down in the description. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.